Hi everybody, welcome to The Truth That Never Sleeps here on the internet. Please, please subscribe as I expose the satanic new world order system like nobody else does on the whole world wide web. Also, um, you know, you're watching this probably if you're watching this on the live stream uh, in the know news and reviews, please subscribe to this channel. This is where I do uh, the Truth Never Sleeps videos live. Today, it is November 7th. It's about 11.30 a.m. And today, I'm going to connect some more, more dots. I'm going to break down some things. Of course, occultists and Satanists are coming out. Today, I'm going to you know cover Larry David. Okay, this is the comedian that worked with Seinfeld and all this stuff. He made some lewd jokes on SNL. So we're going to get into a lot of things. Of course, we're also going to uh, cover Devin Patrick, the occultist, the Satanist. Lots of great information. So again, get ready. Hold on to, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> to your socks. Because again, we're going to start breaking down some amazing news articles here here today. All right, so let's get to it again. Let's get to the main topic at hand. Of course, this was a story that shocked the nation again. Um, all part of the system, divide and conquer, uh, the uh, gun control, uh, what is happening with this guy, Devin, the devil I call them, that shot up this church. Of course, many conspiracy people always say, well, listen, this nobody got killed, nobody got hurt, this and that. Well, I'm going to show you people did get killed, people did get hurt. And this is exactly what this monster said, this demon reptilian possessed evil man did. He walked into the church on Sunday and he said, everybody dies mother F. You guys know the, the terminology there. You see, survivor who lived after playing dead in Texas church massacre recounts shooter's only words as he walked up and down the aisles 15 times shooting at piles of lifeless bodies, folks. Again, this man had the devil incarnate in him, legions of demons. Rosa Soles survived Sunday Texas church shootings by playing dead. She was discharged from a hospital on Monday, recounted the horrifying experience to ABC News from her home where she continued to recover. Solis says that the only thing the shooter said during the entire attack was everybody, everybody die mother, you know, F or whatever. She says he walked up and down the aisle shooting at the piles of lifeless bodies checking to, you know, make sure that everybody was dead. Solis survived by hiding by underneath, you know, a bench. Can you can you imagine the horrific uh, things? Again, this mad gunman comes in there, starts shooting up the place. Everybody's going to die and start shooting. And there were points in, in this interview that she said, again, a whole family was wiped out. Uh, eight people in a family were wiped out. This killer was shooting and mauling at the young dead babies, folks. He would shoot the things, shot the children, went back and shot at babies. Again, folks, this is 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 unspeakable, unspe but this is what this monster did. Again, remember this man, and I cover this, was an atheist, which is the same thing as a Satanist, an occultist. You, you don't believe in God or you believe you're a God, and this is what this monster did. Okay, so anyway, he goes up, walks through, uh, you know, the hall, you know, the, the thing of the church, the middle of the church shooting. Another woman who survived said the shooter walked up and down the aisle shooting the victims at least 10 to 15 times. So he wanted to make sure they were gone. Shooter devil, Devin Patrick Kelly, reported fired hundreds of rounds at the parishioners and reloaded dozens of times. A local man brought the shooter to an end when he ran over the church with his own gun and chased Kelly away. Kelly committed suicide behind the wheel of his SUV as he fled the scene. And so there it is, folks. And here, you know, you know, you're going to get all the people. Oh, this was a false flag. Nobody died. You know, these these so-called truthers. And I talked about this in my last episode. These so-called truthers now, nobody dies. Nobody, you know, it's Antifa. No, Antifa really didn't have anything to do with this. Again, I reported that uh, this was a love world's quarrel. The guy was an atheist. He said people who believed in God were stupid. So number one, 
he was against Christianity. He was against the, the, the Most High. You know, again, he was an atheist. Number two, his ex-wife took off on him. That was the church that her parents went to and stuff like that. So this is why he did what he did. Here you can see the bruise of the woman, of the gunshot or whatever here. She recalls the horrif horrifying de details and stuff like that. Discharged from the hospital. She was treated from a gunshot wound to her left arm. Okay. Here, her husband um, said that he went around and shot the crying babies point blank with his rifle, folks. I mean, can you imagine that? Can you imagine... Um, the tragedy there. Uh, again, the details. Here's this monster right there. Devil, deviant, demon, Devin. Patrick Kelly said during the shooting was everybody was going to die. MF. Um, and man, folks, look at this, dude. It is. This is this is really tragic. Was this again a psyop? Was he mind control? Uh, many people are saying that. I can't I can't tell you that 100%. My red flag always goes up that these um, shooters are always in the military most of the time. They kill people all of a sudden. So, you know, you do the math. Miley Cyrus as well got huge backlash from the satanic monster. And thank God she did. And I pray many of her so-called fans get away from the satanic witch. Why Miley Cyrus responded to Texas Massacre sparked outrage. You see, and this is what, you know, this is what she wrote here. Okay, Miley Cyrus is being dragged for a post that she shared on Instagram Monday following Sunday Texas church shootings. After a man, Devin, okay, and so I talked about this, you know, wounded all these people here. She said this, Texas church shooting leaves 26 dead, including eight members of one family. Uh, my dreams have became a nightmare and those nightmares are reality. This isn't a fair that isn't right. This isn't just, this isn't human. This is a terrorist act by a white American man. I am heartbroken and embarrassed, mortified by our country and it's, you know, shit says them lack of controls of laws you see she's a gun grabber she's a part of the system she is a part of that mind manipulation to take away the guns okay this is all there this this does not have or need to happen it's devastating disgusting you know what's disgusting miley cyrus you showing off your crotch you showing off illuminati symbolism you promoting the system of the lgbtq system that you promote day in and day out. Okay, that's an embarrassment. Okay, that is, that's the thing. This does not need to happen. The mood were so important for me to share this major platform. I wanted to bring awareness to the fact that every day we wake up to more terrifying, painful information that makes it uh, nearly impossible to feel optimistic uh, that things are going to change. They say uh, it gets worse before it gets better in some cases, and I wish on every star. You see, wishing on every star, she's an occultist, wishing on every star. She's not praying to Yeshua Mashiach. She's not praying to God. She's not getting on her knees, praying that people get salvation and get the Lord where these people in Texas were trying to do worship God, trying to be better people. You see, any true believer of God, again, is trying to improve their life, trying to get close to the maker, the creator, right? You don't hear her saying that because she's an Illuminati satanic puppet pawn of Satan. Her videos prove that. Um, You know, she was on SNL. She was doing trashy music. I couldn't even listen to it. Here you can see her. Um, She wrote a song, I Would Die For You, right? Notice here she's wearing the white. She was wearing the white outfit. They usually do two performances. The next one she was doing here, if you can closely see here, she was wearing a black looking all slutty and that is the duality, the white and the black. So she wore a white outfit right there. The next scene, she wore a black outfit. She is a Freemason, a cultist, Zionist witch, and this is the reality. And again, 
People that were believing in the Messiah, Yeshua Mashiach. Why isn't she mentioning Jesus? Why isn't she mentioning the power and the glory? No, because she has an agenda. She's praying to stars, the star, the light bearer, Lucifer, because that's who she really is in, you know, uh, in control. The, the devil is controlling this woman right here. That's the, the that's the system. So she's saying all this stuff. Oh, uh, you know, things are going to change. It's worse in some cases. And I wish on every star, right? Yeah, the demonic spirits that you worship that this is the worst of it i continue to be hopeful that enough is enough and the eyes of the ignorant will open up and realize gun violence has to stop these a-holes facebook profile photos it was a f rifle i don't know how much more i can take f g's f guns F violence, okay, my love is with you, Texas. Now, this is a woman, right? Again, let me tell you something, Miley Cyrus. This is for you, honey. And probably, I know you're not going to watch it because your handlers don't let you watch these truther channels, these Christian channels. I know you'll probably never watch it. But but didn't you say that if you, you, you hated that Trump was going to get elected, that you would move out of the country? Why aren't you gone? You're complaining that the guns are killing people and you can't take it anymore. You want to take guns from Americans. Why don't you leave? You promised us that you would leave when Trump was elected. Leave already. Please, our country would be better off without you, you satanic witch. And that's the reality. This is all part of the system. You see, the whole narrative of gun control, which this witch, Miley Cyrus, just promoted, is what the socialists want. This is is what Stalin did, the Chinese, uh, you know, governments, okay, these uh, dictators, uh, you know, Castro, they murder their people. We need our, our right to bear arms. These people are, again, this is the agenda, folks. This is from a straight up satanic witch, and I'm glad people are upset and they want to defend the rights of, you know, people having the right to bear arms. We need it, man, folks. We live in a jacked up world. I cover it on a day-to-day -day basis. Here she is. Again, the, the uh, mind control, the duality personality. Notice the color here, the rainbow, the black and white. Um, look at right here, folks, right here, Illuminati, the broken shattered glass. Can you see that with the all seeing eye, the pyramid with the all seeing eye, man, this woman is straight from the pits of hell, from the synagogue of Satan's agenda. I've talked about her. I've broken it down, promoting the homosexual agenda as well. That's not a secret. I'm not bullying anybody. We know that Miley Cyrus loves to promote the gays, the LGBT, the trans queers, all of them right here. You see the rainbow with the um, unicorn, okay? We know this. This is all part of the system. I'm going to start breaking down this guy here, here in a second. Uh, look at the demon-possessed eyes right there. Larry David is another blasphemer. This is what she is. She's dressed like a pig because that's what she is. She's nothing but an Illuminati pig, a death lover, a cultist. All there, all satanic. Time to wake up, people. Get away from these stars that want to manipulate the minds. Again, even now, the Pentagon, this is why we, we need to connect the dots. This guy was a military guy. How many military people have shot up places and stuff like that? Now, the Pentagon, the Pentagon itself is saying it's it's an, it, it made a mistake. The Pentagon's deadly mistake. Air Force admits they should have reported Texas church shooters background, which would have stopped them from buying a gun. Uh, devil uh, record, or, you know, records should have been prevented him from buying a firearm. The armed forces, the Air Force has ordered a comprehensive review into why his charges were not entered into the National Criminal Information Center. Uh, he was uh, confined for 12 months by the military on a domestic abuse charge. He assaulted his first wife in 2012 and left his stepson with a fractured skull. Okay, this is what this monster did before he killed. They dropped the ball. But you know, folks, when you start looking at what the system does, you see, let me tell you another thing. There's a huge campaign to stop military men and women in the armed forces from having guns. 
okay? Because the government, the Illuminati-controlled system knows that patriots, that military personnel, when they get out, when they wake up, that the whole Iraqi war and all this was a farce. It was for the Rothschild banking cartels. Now they're military trained by the government. Now they can be, uh, again against the, the, the system, if it all comes down, they don't want military personnel when they get out of the military to have guns. There's a huge campaign. Many of the military people that join the military are pumped up full of vaccinations. They jack them up. When these people come back from the war and everything like that, they have PTSD. They're all jacked up. That's one of the reasons why, well, now they have this medical problem. We need to take away their guns. You see, this is all systematically set up as well, folks. Don't don't get this twisted. Whenever the government starts saying, yeah, well, we need to look into this and that. Yeah, you know, oh, military people are killing all these people or whatever. Now they're going rogue. Now this is giving them more ammunition and taking Taking the ammunition from the good military people again, MK Ultra programming, all this stuff, folks. This is the reality. So now you have the United States Air Force and all this stuff. And don't get me wrong, this guy did have a problem. Yes, he should have been flagged. You know, I'm not saying if someone's truly sick and twisted, like this monster Devin, the devil demon, um, he should never ever got his hands on a gun. Even Trump, which I have to agree, this isn't a gun problem. This is a mental health issue problem. But ultimately, it's not even a mental health issue problem. It's a spiritual problem. The man was against God. He was an atheist. He preached atheism, which again is ludicrous, that says that we come from primordial goo, which is a lie, okay? I mean, but this is what the government systems have taught. They've taken out the Bible out of the school. They've done all this crap to the minds and the masses teaching evolution. And, uh, you know, it's very sad here. Look at Annabella, a 14 year old girl. The church's pastor was the first victim identified. This little girl died there, folks. Very, very tragic. Very sad. Um, again, the families uh, all there. I mean, I, I'm, I, it chokes me up, folks, that these people were taken out by this monster. Good people worshiping God, wanted to praise the Lord, go to lunch, but they never made it because some evil, wicked monster that was filled with Satan's dark energies that promoted the Illuminati agenda of atheism and Satanism is now dead. Again, we need to pray for these people's a family that they keep on in the faith um, very tragic, very, very tragic. But again, the media, the, the news, the local news ain't going to tell you, it, they're going to say it's a mental health issue. No, it's a spiritual issue. They're keeping out the atheistic things. Folks, listen, let me tell you something too. And I, I reported this on yesterday. Now they're saying the far right are making fake Facebook accounts uh, that he was Antifa. Again, this is all part of the manipulation. I talked about how these so-called truthers, these YouTubers now are coming out of the woodwork. They even made fake pictures of Facebook, this is his Facebook, that he had the Antifa, uh, you know, fascist, uh, you know, flag, all this stuff. It's, it's lies, but again, it's that divide and conquer technique. We need to be unified through Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, okay? Uh, bottom line, we know the man was literally demon-possessed. He wanted revenge on his ex, and of course, he hated Christians. Um, the guy was straight-up demonic and a sicko. Let's get into some other news here. Um, you know, this is also, you know, we live in a world now that hates God. Christians are the most persecuted in the world. Okay, so that has to tell you something. You know, if you're a non-believer, if you're a guy who watches my channel or a girl that watches my channel, they get a kick out of it. They get, they get their little jollies. They get their little laughs, right? Look at this guy. Oh, he's preaching this and that. Well, let me tell you something. Okay, if, if Christianity was fake, if the Bible was fake, why is this book, the, the Holy Scriptures, the book that is banned in so many countries that teaches love, that teaches to love our enemies, to help each other, to build our spirituality with the creator God, right? Why is it that Christians are the most persecuted in the world? That has to tell somebody that, wait a minute, these people are really being persecuted. Is it because they're really teaching love? They're teaching uh, people to truly get one? I mean, you know, ultimately a true believer of God would never harm any innocent person like 
like that. We know that. But an atheist, a Satanist, an occultist, someone under mind control will. And this is what I warn people on a day-to-day -day basis that these occultists, these Satanists, these mind control people are messing up the world. It's time to get to God. You see, we live in a world right now, and this is again another story. Now, many relationships, we know that being married now is a 50 or 60% of a divorce rate. This was all systematically set up by the occultists, by the Illuminati as well. And now this story comes out here of this young married couple, right? Here you go. But hey, we've had 10 lovers ever since our wedding. P polygamy and all this stuff. Couples say their marriages work better. They sleep with other people, but they don't let their five-year-old see their dates. How sickening and disgusting is this? That this man would let his woman, his wife, lay with another man. And yes, he did admit he got a little je jealous, but he doesn't care because he's getting his little rocks off as well. This is all part of the system, again, to manipulate the minds that, hey, you know what, marriage doesn't count any and if I get married, it's okay to cheat. It's okay to be this, uh, you know, polygamy person and do this and stuff. Again, the Bible says you get a wife, you go from your mother, from your home, you go to your wife, you become one flesh. No, these people want to keep on, uh, keeping on, if you know what I mean, slutting around, right? which isn't going to bring nothing at the end of it all. They're probably going to break up. He's The wife's probably going to leave him. Here's another sicko, and this is just showing you that this abuse in the polygamous realm is sickening. U.S. polygamist is arrested in Mexico with four of his wives. He had four wives and a concubine after three male members of his cult were found murdered 15 years after he fled, charged with marrying a 12-year-old girl. So all you people, all you swingers out there, you think this is all dandy, right? You go to hedonism where they all have sex, these sex uh, cruises and all this stuff. These people are sick. They're a bunch of pedophiles. Again, he got jealous. He probably killed these three guys here. Let me read the rest of the story. Or Orson Williams Black, 56, was arrested Sunday in the borders of the state of, you know, uh, Chihuahua. Mexico or whatever. He was detained with his four wives, about 22 other Americans who were found without proper documentations. Black suspect in the deaths of three Americans who were found dead at his ranch in September. Roughly 100 police officers swooped in the three house and the two ranches where the Black and his followers had been living. Uh, raided turned up bizarre collections of 65 stuffed animals and frozen carcasses. He is a member of the, now this again, the, Jesu, uh, the, the Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. That's an occult, uh, you know, sector of they claim to be Christians, but they're not. Uh, again, they believe in polygamy. They try not to tell you that. These people are sick. They're pedophiles. Again, they marry a wife. They marry the sister that's 12 years old. All sickening. Look at this guy. He had, you know, he loved dead animals and stuff like that completely and utterly grotesque. But again, this is the world we live in. We live in a world that is just filled with over-sexualized. Everything is sexualized. Listen to this one, this woman. He told me to choose between this and him. Miss Bum Bum, okay? Winner reveals she left her husband to compete in a pageant that sees finalists showing off their derrieres in skimpy thongs. And so this woman here, again, People are losing morality. These couples now, these swingers having sex, whatever. These polygamists are killing people because they get jealous. The husband even said that he was getting jealous that his wife was whatever. This guy didn't want his wife to show her derriere. Well, she chose to be a harlot. She chose to be a, a object for men to go and look at and stuff like that. This is the world. This is the world. You know, many of these women and many of these people, you know, uh, the, they're married, the wife comes, honey, I want to go and have um, an all-girls night. And what do these all-girls night include? Going to the club, getting drunk, you know, dancing with other men, all this stuff. This happens. This is why the Bible says women need to be modest. We need to respect each other. The husband needs to be respected, but this woman wasn't going to do it. She wants to go and flaunt off her rear end, uh, thinking she's some kind of superstar. She shows this, uh, you know, satanic lifestyle from maybe possibly a good husband. 
Now, talking about another guy that loves, um, you know, looking at women. Of course, he had the Miss Universe. Of course, we're talking about President Donald Trump. And, uh, you know, this is another story, part of the Illuminati agenda. More news and reviews, folks. That's what I'm doing here today. Trump says he hopes to God he never has to attack North Korea, but insists he's prepared to defend the U.S. and its allies using full range of unmatched military capabilities. So we know that he's in the Asia. This is where he was. He was at the South Korean uh, President Moon Jae-in. So this guy Moon here, right? He complained once more that he'll, he'd been left to combat North Korea's nuclear aggression, first place, this and that. So, you know, he goes there. This is all part of the Rothschild banking system. Of course, North Korea does not have a centralized Rothschild or Rockefeller banking cartel there. So this is why Trump's there. Trump is nothing but a puppet. Of course, they always have the American flag on a pentagram formation. Of course, also notice here Korea's um, flag. You see like uh, the yin and yang. Notice the colors here, red and blue as above, so below with the American star. <clears throat> Excuse me. The American star with the little pentagram there, folks. All part of the system, all there. Of course, North Korea does not have their, you know, their, they don't have the banking system. So Trump is there putting fear in those people. Of course, I'm not protecting North Korea. I think they're evil. Uh, but notice here how Trump has the Illuminati pyramid hand sign showing his alliance. All part of the system, all part of the satanic uh, world that we live in. They're playing the game. They, uh, you know, again, once they get the Middle East, once they get... Uh, you know, North Korea, this is when they're going to implement the mark of the beast, the chipping of humanity in every world, every country, everything. Also, uh, some of the Saudi kings and stuff like that got arrested. I wonder why they also got arrested because, again, they want to get those Rothschild banking cartels in there. Now, this is a story I seen. I seen this live. I was watching SNL. I watched the beginning just to expose a little bit of it. And it made me sick. I didn't even want to watch this show. But Larry David. Now, this guy is the guy who worked with Jerry Seinfeld. He was one of the head writers. He also had his own show. Uh, Larry Davis is a blasphemer. Larry Davis and his show, I think it was on HBO or something. He was in a script or in a show where he pissed on the portrait of Jesus Christ. He was in a bathroom. I guess the person was a Christian. They had a, a Jesus Christ photo there. He was taking a piss and he swerved it and he pissed on the, the photo of Jesus. Now, again, we know that's an image, a grave, graven image, but this is what this man is. He's a monster, okay? He's a blasphemer. So in his monologue where he opened up, um, he stated some things here. And so let's uh, let's see if I can uh, get you uh, read you a couple of this stuff like this, okay? Um, okay, so let's go over here. By contrast, he says this, uh, okay? He began. Okay, so he started talking about the uh, sexual allegations. Okay, because he's a Jew, he, Jewish guy. Okay, he's part of the synagogue of Satan. He's probably a Zionist, of course. He's a antichrist. He pissed on the portrait of Christ. He said this in beginning the sex scandal, like rocking Hollywood, saying. I couldn't help but notice, this is how he talked, I couldn't help but notice a very, very disturbing pattern emerging, which is that many of the predators, not all, but, but you know, many of them are Jews. And I have to, to the three words to say, Oy vey, Ishmer. I don't like it when Jews are in the news uh, for notorious reasons. What I want is I, Einstein discovery of theory, theory, theory of... Uh, Relativity, socks, discover cure of polio. What I don't want is Weinstein took it out. You see, making a joke, making a joke of women, okay, being raped in, in, in the Weinstein. You see, folks, this is the synagogue of Satan. Okay, he also talked about how he, uh, he said this, I've often wondered if I grew up in Poland, where Hitler came to power and I, I was sent to the concentration camp. Would I still be checking out women? I think I would. Hey, Shalomo, did you see that one by the Baraks 8? I, I've had my eyes on her for a week. I'd like to go up and say something to her. Of course, the problem is there are no good opening lines in a concentration camp. 
You know, so anyway, he was making sick lewd jokes about people dying in the concentration camp. You know, when they're in the concentration camp, they're naked. Again, this guy's a bona fide pervert. Of course, uh, he opened up with the Weinstein. And what he did was, in this SNL, you can go back and watch it. He basically is ousting out. He's saying the synagogue of Satan, the occultists that run Hollywood. You see, this guy, and people go, oh, you can't talk about the Jews or this and that. He's a Zionist. He's the synagogue of Satan. You see, behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, but are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee, Revelations 3, 9. You see, Larry here, Larry Davis is saying that the Zionists, the Jews, the Zionist Jews, the synagogue of Satan are one of the biggest rapists in the world because they're controlling the Hollywood media. Yet again, the media is not going to tell you that. Alex Dishio Jones is scared to say these words that I just said. But David himself admitted that many of these predators like Weinstein are the root problem of Hollywood, this over-sexualized world, the corruption, again, the blasphemy that they use in Jesus' name in these movies as a bad word. Well, get this. Now, this, again, and I'm getting into what Harvey Weinstein does. These are the Illuminati techniques of, again, well, let me read the story here. Harvey Weinstein uses ex-Massad agents and an army of spies to gather details about personal lives and sexual histories of, of dozens of actresses and journals. You see, remember what I said, and I've said this in many of my videos, that the occult eyes wide shut parties, these they have these sexual orgies, the mind control. I always say that the Illuminati, how they play the game is that they put people in compromising positions, they sleep with prostitutes, they sleep with little kids, and they record it. And so then, this is a trap. They entrap these people to do whatever the heck they want, to sleep with more people. Okay, this is the system. This is the Illuminati eyes wide shut parties. This is how they play the game. Of course, there are a bunch of pedophiles in the movie. Um, you know, eyes wide shut. They talked about, again, uh, pedophilia, these parties, how they were recorded, how they got the dirt on everybody. Well, Weinstein is now is, the stories are coming out how he would get their sexual histories, uh, dozens of actresses and journals, and one tricked Rose McGowan for months using, uh, you know, an, you know, whatever, and uh, a woman's activist. She was pretending to be a woman actress. Ronan, a news exposed, revealed the terrifying lengths of which the Miramax producers went to silence accusers. This is not Miramax. This is not the Weinstein Company. This is Hollywood. This is how they play the game. They get the dirt. They get the mind control, the manipulation. Weinstein hired Black Cube. Now, folks, the Black Cube is a representation of Saturn. Saturn, Satan. No wonder you have the name, the codename there, Black Cube, Satan, run by his former Israeli, okay, there you go, intelligence officers of the Mossad and Kroll, the biggest global corporate intelligence firm. Now, remember the, well, we'll get into it here in a little bit more. One corporation intelligence agency posed as a woman's right activist to get actress Rose McGowan to discuss her claims and turn over a draft of her memoir. Same agents also spoke to reporters to try to find out their sources. Weinstein or the agencies also reported hired their own journalists. Of course, they control the media, folks to interview accusers to find out what their claims against him were to play the victim. Weinstein allegedly tricked an ex-employee into revealing a list of her old colleagues, then forced her to call them to see who had spoken to the press. He conducted much of his investigations with secret intelligence agencies through his lawyers, so they'll probably protect the you know attorney-client privileges. Alfaro uh, said that Good Morning America Tuesday that there was more to come. So again, the techniques of getting into their lifestyle, 
who they slept with. Again, they set these people up and they get complete control. This is nothing new. This is what these eyes wide shut parties are all about. Many of these stars will get these invitations that are young into the industry. They go to these parties. They witness something. They get them into with the prostitutes, whatever. And then they record them. They go, hey, you want to talk about us? We got the video. You're destroyed. And this is how the Illuminati played the games. This is why it's called the Eyes Wide Shut. Of course, they killed Stanley for releasing much of this information. If anybody doesn't believe that the Illuminati satanic occult sex parties, snuff films, pedal rings don't exist, you got another thing coming. These people are some of the most evil and wickedest and what they do is they hold all this stuff on the people and that's why many of them keep their mouth shut. This is a satanic ring. Okay, no doubt about it. Now let's get into some more here. This was an interesting story just to talk more about the transgender homosexual lifestyle. Of course, I talked about how the swingers go and do their thing. Well, this transgender woman opens up the moment her husband, you know, moment her to her husband's parents found out she was born a man after their wedding. So this guy married this man here. It's a man, okay, transgender, and uh, hid it from the parents. I mean, how sickening is that? Okay, but this is the sick sadistical world. You know, this is the keeping, uh, you know, information from people. It, it's it's down. I'm right now. I'm sick, and I know it's twelve o'clock. Maybe you guys are eating lunch. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry, but this is gross. But this is the world that we live in. Of course, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner comes out. This one's a new one. Remember Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Gender Bender. He is the poster boy for the homosexual agenda. Well, here it is. They don't want me in their lives anymore. They bashed me pretty bad. Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner reveals her heartbreaking at no that no longer speaks to the Kardashians. She's pulled pints at a Cambridge union. So the sickening, revolting Kardashians that are demonically possessed literally don't want nothing to do with him. And you know what, to be honest, I think that's a good thing. If anything comes about this, they don't want nothing to do with him. That's a good thing because those people are some of the sick, sadistical people. But he himself is sick, sadistical. And so now he's crying the blues, blah, blah, blah. It's all part of the agenda. He wants people to feel sorry for him. This is all to promote this sick, sadistical uh, system. Um, here, there's a lady. Let me see if I can find this news. Check this lady out here. She got some front. Shocking moment and an Uber passenger wearing a bra is caught up on camera stealing money. Now, who does this girl look like? Who does, wait, who does she look like here? Let's see if it replays here. I don't know. Let's see if it goes through. I may have to reset it again. But again, the woman looked like a Kim Kardashian wannabe. Again, she stole the Uber guys' cash. Let's see if it'll play. Right there, Kim Kardashian wannabe uh, stole this Uber driver's tip jar. Um, again, the Kardashians have manipulated the minds of millions of people. This is just all part of it there. Uh, no doubt about it. Um, let's continue on. One more story before I close out here. Marilyn Manson points a fake rifle at the San Bernardino concert. Um, all sickening, again, revolting, the Satanists and occultists. There he is. Marilyn Manson showed a shocking lack of empathy Sunday night as he pretended to spray the crowd with bullets from a fake semi-automatic weapon in a county that is still reeling after from a massive shooting. Of course, uh, there was a San Bernardino shooting. Marilyn in a wheelchair after September injured his that crushed leg. Remember, I, I reported on that, that his stage fell on him. It was reporting um, at the amphitheater on San Bernardino, the city where a terrorist killed 14 people. Perhaps with that in mind, um, you know, the conversation headlines, Marilyn pulled out the fake gun and said, we know you F live. A mic is attached to the scope of the rifle. Disturbing as hell. Again, more of these occultists, Satanists making fun of people dying. And I don't find it funny. So, there it is, folks, your news and reviews today. Very sad. We truly need to pray for those that lost their lives uh, or the families that lost their lives in Texas, folks. Um, we live in such a satanic, wicked world. Again, um, you know, we need to go to the Bible in Proverbs 4.11. I have taught you 
in the ways of wisdom. I have led you in a straight path, Proverbs 4.11. We need to truly get and dive into our Bibles. We truly need to get into prayer. We need to you know, uh, teach our children about Jesus Christ and God. You know, the Bible says we need to help uh, others learn about Christ, the Redeemer and the Savior. You see, folks, we live in such a fallen world. But again, if my people who are called by name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, God's face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land, 2 Corinthians 7, 14. You see, folks, this is very powerful. The Bible is saying he will forgive our sins and heal our land. Right now, if you're an American, American's land is decimated. We have seen the divide and conquer with the KKK, the Antifa, Black Lives Matter. They want this racial tension. They want this divide and conquer, conquer technique, Republican, Democrat. We have fallen away when we have allowed homosexual marriages to come to play. This is a fact okay um you know all this stuff abominations marry people sleeping with other people to make their uh, marriage spicier and all this this is an abomination god does not want this he sees this you see our land will not get healed as long as we accept and let these things happen of course people have walked away from the faith and that's why our land is broken it's in pain we're feeling the birth pains all this stuff happening it must happen but if people truly went to god uh, got saved they would be better off again if they followed the path that was taught through the holy scriptures and preachers and teachers as myself that tries to help people their wisdom the wisdom would come in and we wouldn't have these things again this guy shot up that church because he was an occultist he was a satanist by default because he was an atheist and he was a hater of god and the word he did a horrific thing and i'm um, just sad but again, when we truly repent, when we stay humble, when we get to the Lord, we our world will be a better place. But unfortunately, it's not going to, I hate to say it, this world is so corrupt through the Miley Cyruses, through the mind control, the MK Ultra programming, people don't know God anymore. Like I stated earlier, in the indoctrination centers, they call school that promotes evolution, evolution. Again, when you have... Um, Bruce gender bender promoting the homosexual drag trans all this stuff this is why people are so messed up we truly need to get back to the roots we need to get to back to God again the only way you can do that is by getting born again by getting saved the Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord you will be saved again the Bible clearly clearly states here that again God hears us and will forgive they're sins. We're sinners. We need repentance. We need to be forgiven of our fallen ways. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. And people go, well, Sonny, why did God make us with sin and this and that? We were born into a fallen world taken over by demonic spirits that use his minions, a.k.a. Miley Cyrus and all these uh, Satan sellouts, Weinstein, the synagogue of Satan to manipulate the minds. You see, we're here in this world. Some people call it a matrix so we can build our spirit build who we are right build our, our character and what god has made us to um you know live in this world but to ultimately find him and even be that much more empowered that's why we're here that that's the whole objective if you get upset that we live in a sinful world and you want to blame god for it, well let me tell you something god doesn't want robots you see god has angels in heaven he has lions and animals that say he is worthy of all things Okay, he has that. He wants someone that truly loves him. It's like if you're going for a relationship, right? You don't want a robot girl. You know, yeah, she may look good or a robot husband. I love you. I love you. I love you. After a while, you go, yeah, man, she's hot, this and that. But ultimately, you would get sick of it. God created this world, this matrix system, whatever you want to call it, so we would go through these trials and tribulations so we can find him, that we truly love him. Just like someone would you know, fall in love with a mate, you love them for who they are, you love them for their character. That's what God did. That's why he created this, okay? Don't get upset of the system. The system was made for us to find him and love him genuinely, amen? That's what this is about. That's why God gives us our 
you know, our free will to say, you know what, I want to go to Christ. I see how jacked up and messed up this world is, and I want the Heavenly Father. I, I don't want to be a part of this system anymore. I want the love of God. And that's why we need to get to God, get born again. And when you get born again in the matrix system or whatever you want to call it, that's the reboot. You get the Holy Spirit. You get the true upgrade. That's how I can do these videos every day. It's because of the love of the Heavenly Father by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. As you can see, I got this little light here. Um, you know, I was like, I don't know if I want to turn that on. I don't know. I'll just keep it with my blue, you know, background or whatever. But the Holy Spirit goes, no, put it on there. I felt the Holy Spirit, and that's why it's on there. So it's an ambient light. That's what this is. Again, I listen to the Word. I listen to God, the love, and the power of the Father. You can have that too, but you got to get to God. Say this prayer right now. Get born again, but you got to want it. You got to mean it. Lord Jesus, I know I've sinned against you. I come to you today with a repentant heart, asking you to forgive my sins. I believe you are the Son of God. You came to earth and chose to die on that cross for me and then rose again so that I can have eternal life. Beginning today, I surrender my life to you. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father God. So, Father God, I just pray. Thank you for all the... Um, the live streamers, I see you guys. Thank you guys for coming by. It's not a big number, but it's a small number. But it doesn't, I, it doesn't matter. May God bless the small, you know, gathering we have here today. Again, the bride is here. Uh, love the conversation, Father God. Thank you, um, and, and please, uh, you know, let people realize the reality of the world that I just showed here today. Again, through the news articles, how they want to destroy marriages, how they hate God, how they want to keep the promiscuity in these marriages, how they use dark satanic techniques, Father God, how they blackmail people, Father God. We rebuke all those demonic ways in the name of Jesus right now, Father God. I pray that people will see the truth in these videos that I make from your help and just that they break away from the occult satanic system. Thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. And that's what this is about. Thank you all. Again, U.S. Patriot. Thank you. Amen. Love you. As science. Um, God bless. Again, Grace, Victoria. Amen. Thank you guys. Um, Marcus, all there. Thank you in the blood of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. And that's what this is about. You know, it's weird because I wasn't going to do a live stream. And then I accidentally click the live stream and I go, wait a minute, I got to do a live stream for everybody. That's what this is about. Amen. And you know, I just, you know, it's like I flow with God. I That's how I wish everybody would be. You know, it's like we live in an amazing world. My videos at the end of my videos are positive. It's about saving, helping people get to God. And it's amazing. I'm just the messenger. But it's like, you know, as Christians, as believers, we have to be in the backseat like God drives. Amen. And look at the wonderment. You see, that's why we got to stay humble. That's why we got to, you know, be one with him. Let him drive. Let him guide. And that's what I do in my life. And again, like I said, I, you know, wasn't going to do stream, live stream. And it popped up and I go, whoa, okay, I'll do a live stream. This is what I'm going to do. And then I'll rebroadcast this on Truth Never Sleeps. The ambient light. I think it's cool. It looks good. I wasn't going to put it, but I felt the spirit. And that's what we have. We have to uh, just give it to God in all ways, in all things, and he's going to make our lives so much better. You see what happens in this world? So many people try to combat that. They try to combat that little voice in their, their soul. They want to be boss. They want to think they're bigger. And then that's when people fall. We need to be humble. We need to read the Bible. We need to be in constant prayer. And when we do that, man, sky's the limit. Amen. Hallelujah. Let God be the driver of our day. Let's be positive in every way. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you guys for all watching. May God bless you. May God bless your family. May God show you his infinite power, glory, and wisdom. And may his eternal love always be with you and shine throughout the world with uh, you know, your power and glory. Because the Holy Spirit is within all of us as true believers. People know when a true believer walks into a room, man, we radiate. We have the Holy Spirit. We're in love because we are the bride. We're in love with God and people can see that and it's infectious and that's how we can help others wake up. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless everyone. Take care.